Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I'm looking at Diaspora, Shattered Armistice. Now, that title may not be familiar to you because it is a, a mod. It's not really a proper game, although you just download it as a complete game. It is a total conversion for Free Space 2. Now, Free Space 2 is interesting because when it was initially released, uh, the developers or the publishers didn't really give it a huge push, but it won a lot of awards, got a lot of attention, and ended up being considered probably the best flight uh, space simulator from the, the 90s. Uh, later, when the company that the developers were acquired by THQ, they released the source code and that let the modders do amazing things. And so, this is one of those amazing things. It is a total conversion that moves the game into the Battlestar Galactica universe. And we're talking about the modern Battlestar Galactica. Of course, I have to realize now that the modern Battlestar Galactica is now 10 years old. Uh, it's still great and still worth watching if you haven't seen it. But yeah, it is Free Space 2 with Battlestar Galactica paint. It has full voice acting and cutscenes. And this is the Battlestar Theseus. This is a video cutscene, so this is not the in-game models. Now, I set this up to fly with my uh, uh, SciTech X52. It took a lot of work to try and figure it out. And uh, if you've played Free Space 2, one of the things that you need to be aware of is a lot of the game really involves selecting the correct target. And there is literally a key on every key of the keyboard is associated with some sort of targeting system subset. Those are the Cylon base stars. I like the kind of Cylon uh, raiders dropping off there like bats. So there we go, Diaspora, Shattered Armistice. Not an official game by any means, but given the quality of the official games, that's probably a good thing. Battlestar Gal Galactica Online need not apply. And so, we end up in the launch tube, ready to go. We're getting comms traffic in the top left, and we gotta hit the button, and we are out. Oh, there we go, there's the base stars, and of course, flak flying everywhere, Battlestar on my left. And uh, this thing has, well, the, the physics engine is somewhat Newtonian, you know, you can, I have a... We have seven minutes, okay. God, there's so much going on. Ah! So I'm just using auto-targeting to find these raiders, and I foolishly managed to fly through the flak cloud, which is probably not the best thing to do. There's the Theseus there, though, delivering... This is all to stop those nuclear missiles coming in from the base stars. Okay. Yes! Oh, man. This is totally free to download, and you see me there, like, uh, using the... Uh, turning off the flight computer. So I have a pinky switch here, I pull that and it, it moves me, uh, it turns off the flight computer and I can side slip and everything. On my left hand I have a throttle, but I also have a hat that lets me do lateral thrusting and that's really useful for maneuvering around these things. Get this guy, get the guns. The guns will auto-target with it when you've got, or they'll track the target. It's sliding around this dude. Oh crap, nuclear missiles. Okay, gotta intercept those things. Where are they? Oh no, raiders. This is the problem. The the nuclear missiles, you target them and then they get shot by the for the, the flak cloud. And if you end up getting close too close to the flak cloud, you end up getting hit. Okay, that's me killed a few of them. I can say I did my duty. Oh, I've got depth blast damage. Great. Okay. Now, it was actually really hard to get this performance up. Surprisingly, the game runs incredibly well. I mean, it is a 15-year-old game with a lot of new graphics stuff added onto it. But the when I was trying to record, I was getting really choppy frame rates. And so I had to cut the resolution and stuff. This is not nearly as good as I was able to play it. I was able to play it at, like, a 1440p, and it looked great. Yes, thank you. So the whole thing has like eight missions, although two of them are training missions. What uh, really is, what the meat of the product is, I guess, is the multiplayer as well. I'm not, I might play through this if people really want to see it. It's, it just feels good. And uh, you know, you can do all the tricks you see in the movies or in the TV shows and the TV movies. 
and uh, it's a whole lot better than the... Oh, yes, get him! Oh, come on! I just love seeing the Battle Stars there. Battle Star Theseus. It's a slightly different design from the Battle Star Galactica, of course. Oh, another second volley of nuclear warheads. These guys are saying nuclear. It's nuclear, sir. That's how it's spelled. I know you're, you're from Texas or something. That's okay. We'll consider it a cute affectation or something. Okay. Come on. Yes, get him. I have missiles, but they're not fitted on this. I guess I was scrambled in a rush and I don't have missiles on it. On the left, you can see the status of the ships involved. There's... Uh, you know, 90% armor. We are doing just fine. There are no force fields in Battlestar Galactica. In uh, free space, we have FTLs charging up. Good, good, good. Uh, in uh, free space, there is shields, and you know you can adjust your power ratings and everything to to put all shields forward. But but not in this. Oh crap! I think I just smashed into somebody there. Hopefully, it was a bad guy. <laughs> Not good. Oh, yes. Oh, great. Designation. So, uh, they did all the graphics. They did a whole soundtrack for it as well. There's like, you know, 80 minutes worth of original music. They don't use any of the show's music. And uh, I don't know, the guys that all developed, a lot of the people actually started on another project. I think it was called Beyond the Red Line or something like that. But then there was a kind of creative differences and all sorts of drama and a bunch of people left and created this. They left in like 2010 and it was published in 2012. Whereas uh, the original, this, or whatever, Beyond the Red Line, still has uh, stopped, has, hasn't uh, published anything. It's presumed to be dead. They're agile as hell! Yes, but I think I'm pretty agile when I'm flying around this thing. Also, it took me an age to set up the joystick uh, the way I liked. It felt either incredibly sensitive or incredibly insensitive. I really wanted to do some curve adjustments on these things. But uh, having the having the thrust vectoring really helps a whole lot. Come on, get some more radars here. I'm just using auto-targeting, so at the moment it pretty much you turn it on and it will target the next radar for you so you can just blow the things out of the sky. There are afterburners on this as well. Uh, they have limited duration as well. And then, uh, yep, there we go. There's an asteroid, it's just sitting there. The fleet should have received our distress signal. Uh, so the fleet should have dis received our distress signal, except we all know what happened to the fleet. There, you see me slide in there backwards? Sweet. Incoming nuclear warheads! Where are they? There are they? Where are they? Where are they? There we go. Nuclear warheads! They are not pretty things in space by any means. I, I This is one of the things I really liked about Battlestar Galactica was that it... Yeah, it had real munitions in space and everything, right? There were no force fields. And uh, the best thing... Well, one of the best things was that the crew all... Oh, incoming myself. The characters all talked like they, they were on an aircraft carrier, mostly. We're being overwhelmed! We've got three base stars now! Oh crap! Oh! Incoming! FTL is online! Okay, we gotta get ready for a combat landing, which means I have to manually... Okay! Oh crap! There's another one! There's four base stars! Oh! More flak. I tell you, this is... It's pretty cool to watch this. Okay. Now we gotta get into this thing. I'm a little low. I'm using my lateral thrust. We're just gonna get into this. And then we gotta slow down. Oh, oh, come on! In the middle! Yes! Oh, excellent. Lateral thrust for the win. Now slow down and touch down. Nice! Excellent! We have succeeded. Maglock secure, we are on deck. Ah, <sighs> okay, so that was the first mission. The There's five other actual combat the missions. There's a real asylum. story, it's fully voiced. The the uh, they're actually working on animated briefing videos as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's, it's great, it's free, it's available from hardlight.net, I think. Just search for it, Diaspora Shattered Armistice. 
And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I am not a Cylon. I am Scott Manley. Fly safe. The intensity of the attacks has decreased. At present, we are being followed by a single base ship. All wings are to remain on alert status with squadrons taking ship.